Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a video about something that you guys have been asking me so many questions about and that is personal statements for medical school. So quick disclaimer, I'm not working in any admissions department or of any medical school or anything like that. I'm just giving my own personal tips on what worked for me when I wrote my personal statement. And you guys, I wrote so many drafts of my personal statement. I remember sitting at my kitchen table and just writing and rewriting and rewriting until I got to a point where I felt my personal statement really reflected me and my personality and it worked. I got into medical school on my first application and I'm now a junior doctor so I just thought I'd give you my tips for writing a personal statement. So before I get into the video, if you guys are interested in medical school and life as a junior doctor then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated on all of the videos I make. If you click onto my channel link and have a look at the playlists you might find some other videos that you would find useful is at the end I've got a bonus tip that will help you if you get through to interviews at medical school so let's get into it okay so my first tip is to keep things simple if you're applying to medical school the medical school will already know that you are intelligent based on your grades you don't need to use long and fancy words they want to know that you can organize your thoughts and keep things plain and simple if your personal statement doesn't use words that you would use in your day-to-day -day vocabulary then don't use those words, it will seem fake and if you do get an interview then they will see right through that. Next I'm going to talk about the structure that I think is perfect for a medical school personal statement. Now you do not have to use this structure, this is just one that worked for me and I think it lays out your thoughts and ideas about medical school nicely. So I would start with an introduction that just briefly describes you as a person and why you want to go to medical school. Keep it really short and simple. The intro isn't the main point. Some people use a quote or something quite poignant and if you think that fits or works well with you then go for it. In the second section of your personal statement I would write about why medicine is a good fit for you. So basically this is a really great opportunity to show what you know about the medical career. You want to talk about the work experience you might have done or the caring roles you've experienced or any shadowing you've done and try not to just list the experiences if, that you've had because otherwise it become, become a bit like a shopping list and that you're just kind of trying to tick boxes to get into medical school. Instead, try to actually write about what you learnt from those experiences and that will show that you're a critical thinker, that you're reflective and that you took on board some information from those experiences. This is also a great time to talk about other things that have sparked your interest in medicine. So maybe it was a recent news story or something you read in a medical journal or a science paper that you've read that's really piqued your interest. Okay, so now the person that's reading your personal statement understands that you know what medical school will be like and what a career in medicine will be like. Now is your chance to talk about why you are a good candidate for that. So this is a really great opportunity to show that you know what qualities a doctor requires. So things like caring, empathy, ability to work hard, critical thinking, all of those kind of good things. And show how you can acquire those skills or how you already possess some of those skills. Um, there's a document that I've linked down in the description box below called Tomorrow's Doctor. I think it would be a really good idea to have a quick read through that document and you can even sort of quote it in your personal statement. It's kind of giving you everything you need for your personal statement. I think at this point it's also great to talk about how you are a well-rounded person. So you can talk about your extracurricular activities here, any sports you might do, um, maybe you're, you play a musical instrument, but instead of just listing the extra things you do, you need to talk about how those enhance your life. So for example, if you play hockey, you could talk about how how you have good time management skills because you manage to fit that into your busy schedule. You can talk about how it makes you a good team player. You can talk about how it's um, encouraged you to want to stay fit and healthy. So you know you can you can use your extracurricular activities to um, attribute good qualities to your personality and let those shine. I think talking about extracurricular activities is actually a really important point that probably a lot of people skip out on because they might think well why does medical school need to know that I'm in a choir but actually it's a great opportunity to show that you 
can cope with a busy schedule which medical school and medicine in general require. Another tip is to show that you can think critically and realistically. It's really tempting to write about how a career in medicine is like this glowing beacon of amazingness but actually I think it would be more important to show that you have a realistic view of medicine and show um, that you understand the challenges of the long hours, the fact that it's emotionally draining, the fact that you have to be really adaptable and rotate through specialities. So if you can mention the fact that you know that is difficult and how you would hope to overcome those difficulties or live with those difficulties, then I think that would show a bit more of a depth to your personal statement. Okay, and my final tip, keep a copy of your personal statement. Print it out and hold on to that. Now, if you get an interview for medical school, sometimes they will read your personal statement right before you come in the room and pick out certain parts to ask you about. Before you go into the interview, you've had a quick brief read back through your personal statement so you know what they're talking about. So you might have forgotten that you've mentioned that you're a Brownies leader and that that shows leadership and teamwork. But if you can brush up on your own personal statement before you go into the interview, it gives you the ability to then expand on those points and it will make your interview go a lot better and you'll seem a lot more slick. That's it for my tips for personal statement. If you guys have any other tips or any other questions, any other videos you might want me to make then leave that in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you, <laughs> if you want and I hope you guys have found this video useful. I'll see you next time. Bye!